So practice stroke today is going to be using the filbert. All right, so the filbert is going to um, be used this whole instruction. And so I want you to practice and then come back and share with me. Watch it again and again. It's going to help you to be able to get the stroke down. So these are short and sweet, but they're practicing, which means you have homework. Okay. So I'm just using plain white cardstock. You can get it all many places. I'm using my filbert and I have this filbert is a 10. There's different size filberts. And I have uh, a set of three filberts that are in my dark green handle and which is one of these handles. And then I have in my value pack, there's one also. All right, I think there's one. <laughs> okay, there should, there we go. All right, so this is my signature set of brushes. There's 13 most used brushes by me. All right, so first thing, let's do a flower. So I've been using this all morning. So I just thought I've got good paint here and paints that are stored shortage because of the pandemic. So I did not want to throw it out. So I'm going to dip into water, lay it on the paper towel to get the water out, but it's still a dampened brush. I'm going to go over here and pick up Juneberry. I'm using multi-surface paint and multi-surface folk art paint. Um, this is a newer color. It's just a really fun color. So I want to show you loading a filbert. I load on one side and I flip it over to the second side. All right. So I'm not uh, working that in and I'm not double loading like half the brush and half the brush. OK, so I'm going to the color that is on top that shows, which is crazy, I think. So I'm going to push down and then I lift lightly, lightly twisting as I lift. I twist a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and you definitely have to put a center in the middle because sometimes these strokes don't look good in the middle all right so i want to show you the difference i pick up white and juneberry again and i'm going to put the juneberry down all right and see the white strokes on top of that juneberry which gives you a nice blending look like you did all this on purpose. Okay. All right. So this is with the white down first. This is with the Juneberry down. Okay, so I can also do short little ones by not pushing as hard. And that makes your tips of your flower rounded. You see that? Now I can just come in here with yellow and put multiple dots. I should use my smaller handle, my, my smaller handle brush. But I can make a circle for one. And I can just put a little teeny dot in that one. See? All right. So then I want to show you, just need to practice that. So let me show you, I'm going to clean out that brush and let's pick up citrus on one side and thick it on the other. All right. So now here's a practice stroke. You're going to lay the brush down. You're going to slide and then you can make it long and turn, turn, turn and get a point. All right. So I do that better personally with a flat brush, but I have many people, especially if they've been tall painters that say, I want my filbert. So I thought I need to tell you, cause I do have a filbert in all my, in those, and my uh, signature said that I need to teach y'all how to use, right? So this is a filbert lesson. All right, now look what happens here. You can come right in here and come out, out, and out and have a rounded with a point. So then I can push harder and then I can come over here and here. You just twist at the end to get the point. And you could even use a chisel of this to do your stem, all right? Uh, all right, so I showed you that you can do it long, 
So you can come here, push down and stand up with a long leaf. So if you get better at this, <laughs> I guess if I used this as much as I used a flat, I would be better too. All right, so there we go. Now I do do another leaf. Let me show you this leaf. And I'm gonna, here's my stem. So I'm gonna go like this. And then to the point. All right, I didn't do that right. So let's do that again. All right, so let's see, this is how you wanna do it. We're gonna come down, down. So you can see how you can see my strokes. Oh, I did that on purpose so you could see wrong and right. <laughs> you believe me, don't you? Okay, there we go. All right, so that's what you want it to look like. Not this side. All right. So, so to do that, let me show. I would do way bigger over here and then fit these little ones in. And then way bigger at the top and fit these little ones in. And that could be your last one. All right. And those are the kind of leaves that you see when people and things are imported from other countries. But this is also how I do on fabric because it's too hard to wiggle um, on a dry piece of fabric usually. So I put multiple strokes to get to that look. All right. And then I can take my liner. Let's see. I can take my liner and come here. And I could come in here and fix this. All right. Oops. I can just come in here and fill those spots in. But you can also come in here and add your tail stem in the middle. All right. Same thing over here. You can take your liner and come in the middle. Okay, so um, so now I want to show you that these can come in to a different way. So I'm going to make yellow ochre. You can see me flip the other side to get yellow, daffodil yellow. So I can push down and stand up. I want to make a butterfly. And I'm going to pick up fresh yellow and maybe even some white. And push down and come on top of here. All right, this is the front wing. And then on the chisel, I'm going to go one, two, and do the little tail feathers. Wings, wings, not feathers. <laughs> All right, so then this is when you go back to your liner, my two script liner. And I'm going to push my little finger steady in me, and then I'm going to lift. I'm going to push, lift, push, lift. Okay. Put the screen back in there. All right, little, little butterfly. And you can take and put a little white details. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna show you scrolling. All right, so let's, I'm gonna do, since I've got some oxazine purple, I'm going to get purple and pick up, I put purple on both sides, so I just picked up white. Okay, so let's start over here. Now to get a scroll, you're gonna push down hard and then stand up and curve. Then I'm going to fit right inside here like a nest. And then I'm going to fit right inside here again like a nest. And just think you can keep going and going. All right, see how pretty? And it picks up all those little purple touches on the top. Okay, I got both sides again. So I want you to see you can go one, two, and then I'm going to come on this side. One, 
need to get more of both colors. So one and two. This is dry right there. All right, and then back here again. All right, now one thing I do do here is I can come in here and do little dots. All right, so. All right, and I don't want to run into this right over here, but I can do this so you can see. All right. Now, I can be on the chisel and come in here. All right. Oh, I don't even know if I was off the canvas. I'm sorry. Um, another way that's really fun is I want to go back to my purple on one side and white on the other. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to overlap this tip like here. Push down and then pull it back. All right. So what that would do, I would make it look like it folded over, but you saw it was really easy and it didn't. So... I'm going to do a green one and show you that. Okay, so one thing I like to tell you is that if you had an oval, sorry, my finger's got purple on it, and I put an oval with a pencil, I just sketch a light oval. And then years ago, centuries ago, they made an oval, painted a landscape in it, and then they scrolled around the outside edge. And then over here, they would come and then practice. I want you to practice this because on the outside you can scroll and on the inside you can scroll. That needed some more white there. All right, so I can go one, two. I can also come around this way and this way. Oh, sorry, sorry. So I came right here and did this one. I need to be more observant because I can't even see. I'm not paying attention. I'm into my strokes. Can you tell? All right. So now if you took your liner, this is what I do. I get a little bit of water and make it a little inky. And I can add a little bit of white so it's not so dark. All right, so I rolled. That's really too light. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of inky. Roll it. Okay, so I want you to see that I can come here and here. And I can also look out here. One, two, and bring it all the way back in here. All right. So the re way I usually do this is I come out, stop, come here, and touch. All right, so out, come around and touch, cross hatch here. Okay. Just want to show you, you can play around with that. That's in our level two cert is how to get all of these scrolls together. I use a lot of this on jewelry. We used it on black furniture using just metallic gold. Like this is a pretty piece right there trying to duplicate that. So the last thing I want to do is I want to get this filbert again. And I want to show you, I'm going to use thicket on one side and citrus on the other. All right, so look, I'm going to come here and do my scroll. But then this is what I want to, I was showing you right here. 
that I can turn this over to the dark side and I'm gonna go past this arch, past that right here, push down hard and then stand back up. And so it looks like the leaf turned over. So what I should have done, let me show you, this is better. I should have put the dark first. Okay, and you can do, sorry, you can do the dark first and then you can do petals the same way. Like if I'm doing a white petal. All right, so I'm gonna come past this. Uh, I couldn't see because I'm trying to stay out of the camera. <laughs> okay, so see how it rolled over. And one last thing, I'm giving you too much in one practice, sorry. The other, one thing is that you can get a tip and then push and then stand up. All right, with the same filbert. Isn't that fun? One more time. I'm going to have a tip and then lay down and then stand up. But you can also do it like I'm going to push down and I'm going to stand up and I'm going to go to a point. Oops, you got to keep going till you get a tip. All right. So, tip, push, stand up. Okay. Well, that is a lot. <laughs> a lot of practicing, but you're up for it, right? You're up for it. So, use that filbert, have fun. I want you to enjoy the filbert and share with me. If you like the filbert more than the flat, okay? I always tell people, now tell me what was your favorite brush to use, okay? I'll see you next week.